Hello friends, how are you today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today we're going to be talking about swapping products for more natural, um, natural things. You guys know I'm a personal trainer and so I really value health and fitness, but I've got a confession to make. I have never really been an all natural product type person. I am still, um, Kind of on the fence about some things and that's just me being brutally honest with you guys which you if you've been around you know that i usually am but i do have quite a large box of some products that i have swapped out recently for my family and i just want to share with you why this is not a sponsored video none of this is sponsored this is just kind of a new little phase of life i'm entering and i wanted to share it with you guys so i feel like i should have an alert that goes across the screen right now that says Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. So I've got a disclaimer, you guys. So I really was kind of hesitant on sharing this, but I talked about it over on Instagram, on my Instagram stories, um, and you guys wanted to see what I was doing and kind of why, so I figured I'll give you guys what you want. But here's the thing. I approach life in all things moderation. The only thing I take is the cold hard truth is the word of God. <laughs> I am very moderate in everything I do. I don't go like all in. In the health and fitness sense, this might look like, um, you know, uh, just being so restrictive or maybe becoming um, vegan or vegetarian or following like a super strict method of eating. That is just not for me. I just don't operate that way. So for me, with my fitness life, I eat healthy whole foods, but if I have ice cream or a marshmallow or something every now and then, I don't freak. Um, and that's the way that I feel is beneficial for me because I've been able to maintain the pace of fitness and health um, and not like burn myself out. Now I know that there are people out there who are so passionate about um, essential oils and natural products, cleaning products, makeup products. And I love your passion, but I just want to say, please don't inundate me with like links and ordering and things like that. Um, I don't really make decisions based out of fear. Um, and I think that for every person who is so, so passionate about one thing, um, there's probably an area of their life where they're not doing so perfect either. So I am by no means a perfect, natural person with my products and my makeup and my cleaning stuff, but that's okay with me. Just like you might be perfect with all of that, but maybe you're still eating kind of junky and not exercising. And that's just me being honest. So please keep it respectful, keep it nice, I'm kind of scared. Um, but anyways, let's get into this video. So I have a friend who's super passionate about, um, about um, products and the regulation on them or lack thereof. And I've always known about stuff like this, but again, I've just never dug into it. Um, and so we were talking one night at dinner and she kind of got me thinking about a few things combined with the fact that I have a preteen daughter who is now starting to use like deodorant and things like that that she wasn't always using before. Um, and there's just certain things like, um, which I'll get into more in this video, that I am always just going, I'm just gonna say this right now, like I am always going to use bleach in my toilets because that is nasty. And I know that there's like vinegar and concoctions I can make, but I'm just not gonna do that. I want to use bleach. If my child is puking and vomiting, I want to use bleach on that. And I, I might get so many, so many mean messages about this, but I'm just telling you guys, like there are certain things that I just won't change. But like, for example, my counter cleaner, my surface cleaner, I don't need to be using bleach on my counters, like unless there's been like raw meat or something there, I can use a more natural cleaner and that's a surface that everyone's touching. Another example, um, deodorant. It goes right into your lymph nodes here and there's been like so many studies of 
um, breast cancer and hormone disruption. And when you've got a daughter, sorry, I have like something here. When you've got a daughter who's preteen, like these are the things you think about. And you guys, I know you relate as a mom. Something like you might not make yourself the healthiest of meals, which I think you should, but you might not. But your kids, you're always trying to get those vegetables in. So I'm always trying to do better for my kids than for myself. And so this has been kind of like a motivation from my daughter. Um, so I did some research. I did some um, just kind of like looking over and my friend recommended like to change things out as they run out. And so I thought that's a pretty good idea for the things I want to change. Um, so I was doing research on Amazon and a few other things, but I found Grove Collaborative, and I'm sure you've heard about it, to be like one of the best places to find things. I will have the link to Grove down below. Now, they're really awesome because you can get all of your products there um, that you are wanting to get for cheaper than Target, cheaper than Amazon, and they send you really cute little goodies. Like, let's see. Um, they sent me these cute little cloth dish towels as a part of um, a part, just a free gift. Um, they sent me these scout. Um, I'm a tough scrubber with a soft touch. This is a walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge. So they always include little things in there. So I love like if I'm going to buy something anyway, I rather get something with it. So a lot of this came from Grove. Um, the app that my friend recommended was Think Dirty um, and it gives it like a rating. Now, um, so you can look at your products and see like why they have that rating as far as like natural stuff. And the big thing that I've been enlightened to is fragrance is usually one of the things that makes the product not be so good for you. So for example, I um, in the past have used like Olay body wash or different types of body wash. Now I'm just gonna stick with Dove Sensitive Soap. This has like a three rating on that app and um, it's just bar soap and I get it at Target. So that's an easy thing to change to make a little bit of a more natural choice. Um, so yeah, so we're using this now instead of body wash. Another thing is like skincare stuff. So I like made it a personal goal of mine to get myself a skincare regime um, because, for lots of reasons. But I figure if I'm going to spend the money, then I'll try the natural stuff first. So I ordered this Beauty Counter Overnight Resurfacing Peel. This stuff, you guys, is a miracle in a bottle. Like I love it so much and I do not sell it. I love that stuff. It has cleared my skin. I know you guys usually see me with makeup on and it looks like I have perfect skin, but I don't. I actually have like a lot of redness to my skin and sometimes um, because I have polycystic ovary syndrome, I get like hormonal breakouts. So that has really helped. Um, and then I got these little moisturizing oils that are amazing instead of using like lotion on my face. So that has also been a more natural swap that I've made that I feel really happy about. Um, so back to the, those things are not from Grove. Let me just say that. Um, but this stuff is like the box is right here. They also have really fast shipping, like two day shipping. So anyways, their link will be down below. It's not sponsored, but like if you want to try things, I would love it if you use my link because I think I get like points or something. So that'd be really nice of you. Um, but anyways, these are wool dryer balls. These are to replace dryer sheets. Um, and dryer sheets are just wasteful. Like it's one of those things where I'm just like, this is a waste of money. Um, so that, to be honest, is kind of my thought behind that. And you can put essential oils on these if you want your stuff to smell good. Um, but otherwise, these are supposed to last a pretty long time. I got them from Grove and I won't be using dryer sheets anymore. So that's exciting. Um, another more natural product I um, got from Grove were these um, dishwasher tablets um, and they're free and clear biodegradable now like I said I am not trying to go like completely to the nth degree I am just trying to make better 
choices. Just like food, you don't go from eating Carl's Jr. every day to becoming vegan. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't know many people that do that. So this is me just making better choices. So we're gonna swap out our Cascade for a more natural dishwashing soap. Um, I already talked about the counter cleaner. Um, instead of using like Clorox wipes, which are expensive, wasteful, and I don't really need bleach on my counters all that much, um, I wanted to try this cleaning vinegar. This is Aunt Fanny's. They had different scents of it. And um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it. It's mostly vinegar, um, but it's supposed to smell amazing and be safe on all counter types. Got this from Girl 2. And see how they tape it so you're, uh, it doesn't spill. So that's really nice. Um, another thing that I got from Grove was toothpaste. So we're swapping out our Crest for Tom's um, for some toothpaste. I actually got two, one for my kiddos, one for us. Now this was like an easy swap because Crest is like two, three bucks a tube. This was like four. So to spend one more dollar, your mouth Obviously, if you take like medicine sublingually, like under your tongue, it absorbs right into your bloodstream a lot faster. So the things you put in your mouth, it's kind of like a good place to start when you're going more natural. So I wanted to swap out toothpaste. So we're gonna head this direction. Um, and I already mentioned the deodorant. So instead of using Dove or Secret, we're gonna give this stuff a try. This is the Schmidt's bergamot lime natural deodorant. I got one for myself and one for my daughter. Now this was a little bit more pricey, but worth it because that is honestly one of the things that I wanted to change the most because it's absorbed into your lymph nodes. So that was kind of important to me. So I switched her and I out for that. And my husband, he, you know, when you like get on these kicks and you're a wife and you're like, we're going to be eating healthier. And your husband's like, what, what's wrong with that? So this, that kind of happened again. Um, I was like, uh, honey, your old spice is really bad for you. So we're going to put Tom's now. <laughs> um, so I got my husband Tom's. It smells pretty good. I mean, clean, natural kind of smells like Whole Foods, um, but it'll work and it doesn't have all the harmful stuff in it. Got all those from Grove. Um, now, like I said, I, I am taking the slow and moderate approach, but one of the things I wanted to try was Dr. Bonner's Peppermint Organic Hand Lotion. It's certified fair trade. It's organic, blah, 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 and really good for you on that app um, because I live in a dry climate and I do use lotion and lotion is one of those things that it's really, really hard to find good stuff to put on yourself. So it was either between this and coconut oil and coconut oil is, we will probably head that direction in the winter, but it's hot and I didn't wanna be like looking greasy. So I figured I would give this a try. Got it at Grove as well. Um, now some of these things were just little extras that they sent me for free. This is like the method laundry detergent. Um, I, uh, have been using, I use like free, um, like the, the all free and clear usually. Um, sometimes I use gain for like really smelly stuff, like sports stuff and things like that. So I figured this would, is probably a little bit better. We'll give it a shot. Um, I know that there's tons of videos out there on how to make your own laundry detergent. I don't know if that'll be something I tackle, so I'm just looking for better better options. Um, another thing from Grove was this dish soap that they sent me. This was a free thing. Soap is one of those things that it's really, really hard to find, like a really, really good one. And for dishes, you know, you need soap. So. We're just doing the best we can here. And then um, they also sent me this like glass pump thing um, because like I said, soap, hand soap and things like that. So we have the uh, lavender Castile soap. It's made with organic coconut and olive oils. Um, and the ingredients are all pronounceable. So I'm hoping that this soap will be a winner. I'm gonna put it in that little um, thing and put it in my kid's bathroom. And then the last thing I have here from Grove is just their blood orange hand sanitizer gel. This was a free thing that they sent. It's better than Purell. 
Um, I'm always gonna want to put hand sanitizer on my kids hands when they come from like gross places like the childcare gym area or just whatever when you need a quick wash and you don't have access to a sink so that was a better choice um, so yeah those are the healthier natural product swaps I've been making um, starting slow moving slowly through that but I feel good about these choices the deodorant was a really big deal to me um, do your own research figure that out for you but I just wanted to share Grove with you in case you hadn't heard about it Grove collaborative is awesome now I do have one little question for you guys so I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up but I think it'll be after you see me dump out my makeup bag so I don't have a ton of makeup but there are certain things I love and one of those things is this foundation however this foundation apparently is really really bad for your skin so do you guys have any recommendations for a good foundation that does what you want it to, but is more natural? Let me know down below if you do, um, so that I can kind of go from your comments. So thanks for seeing the natural swaps I'm making. Um, if you've got any questions, you can post them down below. If you wanna check out Grove, the links will be down below. And if you are on this healthy product swapperoo transition with me. I would love to hear from you. What products are you starting with? Um, let me know. So I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.